Well, hello everyone. My name is Jessica and today we're doing an empties video. I do these quite a few times a year. I can link my playlist down below if you want to watch more of them. But yeah, I'm just going to share a bunch of products I've used up the past month or two and what I think about them. Is it something I'm going to repurchase or that I have repurchased? Is it something that I'm like, you know what? I tried it. Now I know how I feel about it. I'm moving on, etc. I like it because I can cram a lot of mini reviews on products I've used all the way up that I feel really strongly about one way or the other. So yeah, my throat's a little tired. My voice is tired today. So just bear with me. I'm doing my best. We actually had a nice long weekend at like a little beachy area. I live in the Midwest. So like beaches are not like beach beaches. Um, but it was nice to kind of get away and camp just a little bit. And so I just feel like still tired from this weekend. So I'm just like, I just had some espresso. I've got some tea steeping I think I'll be sipping on here in a minute. So let's start with some makeup things I finished up. First thing I finished up is the little Bobbi Brown Corrector and Light Bisque. There's a little bit left, but honestly, it's so old and gross. I've already repurchased. I'm already, I've already made a dent in the new one. This is one of my favorite products. You can use your finger and kind of tap it on the darkest part of your like eye and it blends in like, I swear to you, I'll put it on there and then I'll just kind of go tap, tap, tap and it's seamlessly blended in. Lately, I've been applying mine with a concealer brush as well. I use it alone all the time. Sometimes if I want even more coverage, I'll add another concealer maybe over here, but I swear by this product. It is one of my favorites. And so yes, I've repurchased and yes, I will continue to repurchase. Also fun little secret. So the box, it's not even a secret, <laughs> but what I'm wearing on my lips today, I actually just threw on the Mac liner in Dervish, which is my favorite color. And actually the only reason it is currently out is because my two year old, had it and was drawing on our dresser. And that was the first time she's ever done something like this. And I was like, so it begins. But I put this kind of lighter colored buxom gloss. It's their full on plumping lip cream in Irish coffee. And it's kind of a nice like light color. But if I put it on my lips alone, it was too light for me. But if you color in your lips with a darker color, like a darker lip liner, I mean, this isn't dark, but it's darker than this. It looks so nice. And then my lips are super dry again from just like not getting enough sleep, being in the sun this weekend. And so I feel like it's making them look healthier than they really actually are. Another makeup item I used up is the Hourglass 1.5 millimeter liner. I love these, but I did find a dupe in the Revlon Colorstay micro liners. And the other complaint I have, listen, the Hourglass ones like break or something where I feel like I'm not able to get all of the product and like if you squeeze it too hard while you twist it, it'll just stop being able to twist. And I've owned probably six of these and like used them and they always, I just feel like the mechanism, there's something wrong with it. I don't know how to explain it. But these are 18 bucks. The Revlon one is the exact same thing. This teeny tiny point. I love like tight lining between my lashes with this. So this is actually the one in Canyon, which is the brown, which I do like, but this I have repurchased a lot, but will not be repurchasing anymore because I think the Revlon one is genuinely exactly the same for half the price. And that's the kind of a product you run out of very fast. Another one I treat as makeup because I use it as a part of my makeup routine is the Paula's Choice Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense. This is my sunscreen. I use this as my daily sunscreen and moisturizer in one. It's got a little bit of a beige tint to it. So if you have a skin tone near mine, I think you would love it. If you have a deeper, deeper skin tone, I, I don't, I think this might look ashy on you. It's like the perfect non-oily, non-greasy sunscreen, but it also adds a slight bit of coverage. And so I love it. I'm, I'm literally used the last bit of it today. I think there might be a tiny bit more. I have bought, I think I've gone through like three of these. I'm I think I already have my next one to use, but I'm currently using a couple of other sunscreens. But yes, I'll be repurchasing. It's my favorite. I'm enjoying the Super Goop one, but it's super glowy. So if it's a day that I'm gonna be sweating a lot, I don't love to wear that because I feel like the glowiness plus my own sweat is probably a bad combo, which is where this comes in. The Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask is another one I used up. I've used up, this is probably the second one of these, like I fully used up. I like them. I know there's kind of discussion of, do they really help your lips or not? All I know is that I love wearing this like all the time, not just when I'm sleeping. My lips look pretty and healthy. And honestly, this has been empty for over a month and I have missed it in my life. So I know I'm gonna repurchase. I am curious about like the vanilla one they have. I heard mixed things about like they had some mint chocolate ones and stuff. 
I heard mixed things about some of those. I don't know that it's like life changing for your lips, but I know I like the way my lips look when I have it on when I'm out and about. So yes, I will repurchase. Last makeup y one before we get into skincare, hair care, and body care is this Farsali Unicorn Antioxidant Lip Mask. Awful. I think it's been discontinued and I'm pretty sure it was pulled off the shelves like weirdly fast like this release not that long ago and it's already been pulled i don't know what the deal was but the reviews are awful i'm gonna add to that with my own negative review it dried my lips out it was the only thing i could figure out that was making my lips so dry it was this so it's a bummer because it was not cheap and i did buy it with my own money and the packaging's pretty but Ugh, terrible. Let's move on to skincare, shall we? So I have quite a mix of some things I really, really liked and things that, you know, as I was looking at like the price breakdown of some of these products, I was like, oh my gosh, that is so expensive. Like maybe it's not worth the money, you know what I mean? One that I've loved for years is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup Cleansing Balm. Here's the thing though, it's expensive. I do think it removes your makeup really nicely. I think it's a great product. I've gone through probably four of these, but, it's so expensive and you know what you guys, I use this up in like a month. I'm like, I can't spend over $30 on a makeup remover every single month. That's a ridiculous amount of money. So right now I'm using the DHC cleansing oil that's kind of like olive oil-esque, which I don't hate and honestly it's grown on me. That's the second one I'm using and it's grown on me so much. So this one I like, like if I got it in PR or something, I would definitely use it and I like it but it's just too expensive for how fast you go through it. My husband just does, uh, sorry. We had our air ducts clean today for the first time ever in my life ever. And we're hoping it kind of helps. They'd never been clean and this house is probably 25 years old. Um, and we're hoping it helps with just like allergies and what we're breathing in and stuff. Um, we got a good deal on it, so we're like, all right. But it meant that like I was gonna film hours ago and now it's like 3 p.m. and I, we have to get Gigi from my parents in like two hours. I'm like, how am I gonna film and edit this in two hours. I have no idea. Especially since I'm still talking, aren't I? But anyway, Tyler just delivered me some matcha tea and it's a little ratatouille cup. There's Remy. The next one I do think is overpriced. It is the Clarins Double Serum. This is like 80 something dollars, you guys. I've There's a little bit left. It says 18 months. I've had this for a long time. Here's the thing. I actually like it. I like the way this feels. I feel like when I wake up the next morning after using this, I'd use it a couple times a week, especially recently as I realized like, you know what, this is getting pretty old. I really need to use it up. I think it's nice on the skin. I'm not totally sold that it's doing life-changing things anti-aging wise. I don't know though. That's the thing about anti-aging things, you know? But it's just so expensive. So I'm kind of on the fence where, you know, I'm willing to spend 80 or 90 dollars on something i genuinely see a difference like the glycolic serums i'll use and things like that but for this i was like i don't know that i noticed enough of a difference so i liked it but i'm not going to repurchase it oh one that's probably half the price of that is from paula's choice this is the omega plus complex serum so it's got chia and flaxseed i would use this pretty much every night unless i were doing some kind of other treatment then i would leave this out it was a serum but it's in like more of a moisturizer formula which I liked and what was kind of nice is I had like a peptide booster or like a niacinamide serum and I could mix those with this and then put it on my skin and it would kind of save me some time but I also just felt like I was really treating my skin. So this entire, if you were wanting to dabble and polish choice and you really didn't know where to begin, I would recommend the Omega line and the Resist line. Those are my two favorites when it comes to anti-aging, especially if you don't have tons of problem areas but you're wanting to make sure you're like actually doing something good for your skin in the long run those are my two favorite lines i've tried enough from paula's choice i need to do like a my favorites and least favorites from paula's choice type video so let me know if you'd be interested in that because i definitely do have some favorites so this is one i love i would buy again one that will come as no surprise the may love glow maker i've finished so many of these i've lost count it's my favorite vitamin c serum it's got other stuff in it but that's kind of how i view it as a vitamin c serum it's just so great like i feel like my skin when i'm not using this kind of a serum is a little splotchier, a little bit redder, but when I'm using this every single morning, I notice that my skin is way more evened out and I feel like my skin just loves it. And so I love this. Yes, I'll continue repurchasing it. I think the price tag of, I think it's 27, 28 bucks is very fair for this kind of a product. I go through a couple of these a year and it's just my favorite. It's the first thing I put on my skin before I put on like moisturizer and SPF and stuff. And I, it's just great. And it doesn't pill up or anything under makeup if that's something you're curious 
curious about. I don't get the hype behind this one. This is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. People freaking swear by this. Like they love, love, love it. I don't really understand why. I, I don't think it's like bad. I, I just really don't understand the hype. And it's expensive, you know, it's more of a higher end-ish skincare brand. It has like a cucumbery smell. I just cut it up my nose, which I personally don't like, but that's my own personal problem. <laughs> so that's one reason right off the bat that I was like, I don't know. I don't think it like totally dried my skin out, which was nice. It's a little more gentle, but like I love the one I'm using yet again, the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser is my favorite. And that one dries my skin out even less. And so, I don't know, for me, that's the one I'm always repurchasing. This is not one. I did not buy this in the first place. I'm pretty sure it was sent in PR long ago, but it, this is just not my favorite. It's one that I liked, but I did buy a cheaper version of is the Trilogy Organic Rosehip Oil. Rosehip oil I've been using, I had a couple of moles removed at my dermatologist like a year ago. And so I've been using that on the scars to help kind of even that tone out, which has been helping a ton. But this one's kind of pricey. Again, this one was, was sent to me long ago in PR. I like to press rosehip oil all over my skin and I love it. Again, I think it helps with the tone of my skin. From what I hear, it can help with anti-aging too. I don't know about that, but I know that my skin looks so much better when I'm using it. So a couple times a week, sometimes if I'm really in the groove every night, after everything, I'll pat the rosehip seed oil onto my skin at the very end of my routine, and I just love it. So the one I bought to replace this is from The Ordinary because it's literally a third, if not a fourth of the price of this. So I will have to get back to you on how that works, if it's similar, etc. but yeah. And I'm pretty sure that one's organic too, so it's not like one's organic and one's not. I'm pretty sure they both are. If I'm remembering correctly though, I think that this Trilogy one is one that's like a celebrity cult favorite type product, you know? Oh my gosh, okay, I love this one. This one kind of snuck up on me. I've tried a lot from CeraVe over the years. This is their PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. And I was having some weird issues with my skin, I don't know, a couple months ago, and I couldn't really figure out what was going on. I don't know if it was stress induced, but I started worrying that anything that had like fragrance in it was maybe irritating my skin, right? So I was kind of really looking at what I was using. And so for my moisturizer, I'd been using one that did have a strong smell. It was from, actually I think it was from Fresh. And so I stopped using that and I pulled this out. That And I had already had it out. It was like two thirds of the way full, you know? And I started using this every night and I felt like my I noticed my skin clearing itself up. And I just, that's why I like these kinds of products, like brands like CeraVe, where there's not nonsensical ingredients in them. So you don't feel like you're gonna be screwing your skin up. You know what I mean? So I loved this. I'm gonna buy this again. I'm trying to work through a couple more moisturizers I have, but this is one I know I'm going to repurchase. And this is one I would recommend to like family and friends if they're like, I need a nighttime moisturizer that's not gonna mess with my skin. I need it to like do what my skin needs. That's what I think this does and I love that. This one, my husband and I, neither of us could finish. This is from Ren and I do like quite a few products from this brand, but this is their clean screen mineral SPF 30. It's supposed to be mattifying. Here's the thing, he was using this, like this was gonna be his sunscreen for his face for every day, you know? And so he put it on and like the first week or two of using it, he was like, I don't know, Jessica, that sunscreen, it's like my face, I can't move it, like it's just tight. And so finally, I remember like I was gonna go on a run or something, he was like, if you haven't put on SPF, try this, I'm like, okay. And so he kept telling me like, my skin feels tight, I don't think I like it, like it's so weird. I'm like, okay, Tyler, let me just try it. So I tried it and he was right, man. Yes, it's mattifying, but it like almost freezes your skin in place. And so you just feel like there's this film on your skin that you just can't quite shake. And so finally he was like, I can't use it anymore. I'm like, that's fine. So I told him I would put it in the empties bin to be able to tell you guys about it, that meh, I just don't think this is a, uh, the greatest, I mean, you just feel it. It's just awful. Body care wise, I always have one of these, the Tree Hut Shave Oil. So I was looking these up to find them online to link for you guys, like in the description box. They have like three different scents now. And so the one I wanna try next, they, they were sold out at my store. So I ended up buying like a Venus shaving cream type thing. And actually it smells good, but it's just not as easy to use as this. So I'm gonna use it up. But when I repurchase this next, which I will, I'm gonna get, they have a vanilla one on Ulta's site, but they also have like a coconut lime and then they have one other one. So yeah, I'm so curious and I love that they're expanding this line. So it's just one of those unsung heroes. You can find it at most drugstores. I don't know if you can find every scent everywhere, but I absolutely love it. I've repurchased this so much in the past year or two. It's just 
so good. Another fave I continue to repurchase is the Neutrogena Body Oil, the fragrance-free version. I just put this on my skin every day after the shower. Also, I got a little sunburn. <laughs> Y'all, it does not feel good, and it was my own fault. Tyler got a little bit of sunburn as well from this weekend. Luckily, Gigi was slathered so much that she didn't, and I'm so glad. Anyway, that has nothing to do with this, but I just, I love this stuff. I just think, again, it's no nonsense. It's not gonna irritate my skin, but it's really adding in that moisture the second I'm done showering, because I feel like that's when my skin feels the most dry, and so this combats that, and then when I have the time, I still put on like a body lotion afterwards, but I love this. I feel like it's making a big difference in my skin. One that I'm not totally sold on is this Aveeno Skin Relief Hand Cream. I, I need a really good hand cream. Please drop your recommendations below, because I've tried a lot and I continue to go back to the CeraVe foot cream. That's my favorite. That's the stuff that I'm telling you makes a huge difference in your feet. After like two weeks of using it, your feet will be baby soft because it works like chemically with your skin, not like a physical exfoliant, you know what I mean? Love that, I can link it below. Actually, I need to buy another one. It's kind of pricey for what it is, but I'm telling you, it is so good. I end up using that on my hands because I'm like, I don't, I can't find a hand cream I like. So let me know if you have one you'd recommend because I like Aveeno, I like so many Aveeno products, but this one I didn't think, I just didn't like it. This one I love, the Origins Ginger Souffle Whipped Body Cream. I love the Whipped Body Cream line, but they only have two cents and they are so strong smelling. I wish they had one that was like either a really light scent or no scent at all, but as far as I know, they don't. But I loved how fast this blended into my skin. I feel like my skin was super moisturized when I used this, so would totally buy again, and maybe I will. The ginger smell kind of makes me, I don't know why, but it makes me feel like it's kind of a wintry smell, not really. Maybe it's because I used it in the winter and that's now why I'm associating it. Regardless, I think I would probably wait and buy this in the winter. Because of the whipped kind of texture it had, it didn't feel as heavy as a body butter and it didn't take as long to blend into the skin, so. All right, quick moving into hair. One that I could not use up. It's the Moroccan Oil Luminous Hairspray. This was sent in PR. I've probably had this in my drawers for like three years, so in all fairness, that's kind of the problem and that's why I've taken myself off of so many PR lists. I end up with just stockpiles of stuff that how will I ever go through it before it goes bad, you know? This just made my hair sticky and it weighed it down and it didn't actually hold. As I was mentioning when I talked about this in some other video, it's supposed to be a luminous hairspray. So I'm like, maybe that's why it weighed it down so much because it was supposed to be more luminous, but I just didn't like the way my hair looked and I used it maybe three or four times and I was like, I'm done. Like my hair looks awful. I wanna wash it like right after using it. And I'm like, that is a sign that it just needs to go. One that I thought was okay is the Nexus Max, what do they call it? Maximum Finishing Mist. When I bought this, it was at Target on a sale. This was like a year and a half ago on a sale on an end cap. And it was like, buy one, get one free. I'm like, oh sweet, I've never tried that. I thought the packaging was pretty if I'm being honest. <laughs> why I wanted it. So I bought it and so I was like sweet and I, I don't know how much each one was maybe like $12 so I was getting it buy one get one free. Then I saw that the regular price for this like anywhere else online is like I don't know seven bucks. I'm like what? So just keep in mind they're not it's not an expensive hairspray which is nice and I feel like Nexus is a pretty good brand. I just thought it was fine. I ended up with two of these. I Did I use them both up already or maybe I've only used one? It's okay, I still love my Bedhead Masterpiece. That one is always gonna win out, but it wasn't bad if you were like in a pinch and you needed one. It holds okay, um, and this is supposedly, I think, their strongest hold. I don't think it's a super strong hold, but it's it's okay. The smell is very, just like cheap hairspray smell, so just keep that in mind. It doesn't really smell good. Next is this Hask Chia Seed Dry Shampoo. This one was like around seven or eight bucks. I needed a dry shampoo and so I, and I didn't want to spend like, I, I love dry shampoos and I have ones that I love, but they're all like 20, 30 bucks. And I'm like, I don't want to spend $30 on dry shampoo, but I use dry shampoo every other day. So it's important in my routine. So I was like, well, maybe I can find ones that are a little cheaper that I like. So I tried this one. It was just okay. Honestly, the smell of it, my hair, when I would use this, I can't explain it, but it would smell dirtier than it was. And it's not like, if you go smell it, it doesn't smell bad, but there was something about it that when it mixed with my own hair oils, it just smelled bad. And so that right off the bat, I was like forcing myself to use it up and I did use it up, but I was like, I don't think I need to try that again. So again, it's another thing. I'd love your recommendations for like $10 and under dry shampoos that you love. I've tried Batiste, they're okay. I don't think they're awful, but they're not my favorite. Um, 
yeah, drop your recommendations. I need to, I've got to find one I like that's cheaper. So that's everything. Huh, I feel like I like breeze through that. Maybe I will be able to edit this and get it up. We will see. But I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're having a great start to your week. We have some really fun videos coming your way this week. We've got one that involves some groceries that I am really excited about. And then I've got some other ones I don't want to tell you yet, but you will hear about very soon. I love you all. I hope that you'll subscribe. I do three videos a week, like I said, without fail pretty much every single week. And I'd love to also say hi to you over on my Instagram. It is at it's Jessica Braun, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.